So on this nice and dreary rainy day here in Kentucky, I figured I'd give you guys a walk around on my new bike. So here it is. This is a 2016 Yamaha XSR 900. It shares the same exact engine, frame, swing arm, and a couple other bits as the Yamaha FZ09 which basically means it's super fast and it's completely overpowered for what kind of style bike it is which is sort of a nod back to the retro cafe racer days and uh, it's <laughs> it's it's much more powerful than what it should be but it's uh, it's not fun if you can control it I just added a uh, a foam mount system here for uh, my phone while I ride uh, not to text and drive more for uh, navigation purposes I figured I'd turn it on and let you guys see it it's one of my favorite parts about it is the gauge cluster um, I like the round style and you got your tack that surrounds the outer edge here you've got a couple different driving modes which is what this has over the FZ09 the driving modes the traction control and then it has ABS as well you have two different modes of traction control you can turn off you have A standard and B driving modes which I can show you here A B and standard A is more aggressive standard is for everyday driving and B is um, tamed a little bit you could say um, for uh, mostly for like wet conditions or new riders or um, whatever it may be. Uh, trash control can be switched over here, one, two, and then if you go long press is off. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so let's turn it on. <laughs> completely stopped other than the foam mount. Um, this whole obnoxious fender from here down is going to be eliminated whenever I get my uh, tail tied in. Uh, I'd like to replace the turn signals. Um, I think they're ugly and gaudy. Uh, they do fit the bike but I'd still like to replace them. Uh, one of my next mods is going to be removing the rear view mirrors because I, again, think these are ugly in body and they can't be flipped, which I've been asked. They can't be flipped, um, like on a Harley, um, because the way that the brackets are made for them, um, it's made into, you've got your brake reservoir and um, brake uh, bracket here, the bolt. The threads for, okay, this is the bolt and this is the female threads on this side. The way it's made into it, there's not, it's not a through hole, so I can't just bolt it up to the bottom. Um, same with the other side uh, for the clutch lever. It's all one piece here. And I've got some uh, plugs already. Um, I actually already have them. One of the guys at the uh, dealership was nice enough to give me some. Um, but you just you know, screw those off and put the plugs in. And then I'll have some bar in mirrors. They actually clamp on right here and they come up. And more right here um, mostly for look but more functionality because when you sit on this bike uh, unless you really like looking at your shoulders you can't really see much out of the rear view mirrors I may be able to show you what I'm talking about but sitting here looking here in the mirror my shoulder here in the mirror I've got this one aimed wrong but pretty much your shoulder you don't really see much behind you um, but yeah those will go next um, again, turn signals. Um, I don't think I like the radiator brackets being chrome or brushed aluminum. I actually think they are brushed aluminum. Um, sounds like aluminum. <clears throat> I think I may paint those black, um, sort of to go along with the, uh, the whole black engine compartment here. And a lot of people don't like that this engine is liquid cooled because back in the Cafe Racer style days, they didn't have liquid cooled engines. They were, well, they did, but they were all pretty much air cooled. Um, so some people don't like the fact that this is liquid cooled and these only 
bring your eyes, uh, they, they're attention getters, and bring your eyes to the fact that it does have a radiator, which is whatever. But I think I would like it better when those were black. Um, <clears throat> I, I kind of think the same thing about these fender brackets here, but I may leave those alone. Um, other than that, the uh, so my wife would like to ride with me, um, but one of the issues is these pegs are super short, so they just click down into place here. But these pegs are really short, so the passenger would sit, you know, on the little bump seat back there. Um, but her legs would go up and almost back down at a you know straight up and down, so it's a very uncomfortable position for a passenger on this bike. The good news is Yamaha makes a bike called the FJ09, which again uses the same frame, same engine, same everything. Um, but they have made longer passenger foot peg brackets on that one. So it's basically a direct swap other than the fact that on this bike, the rear brake reservoir bracket this piece here, this metal piece, goes back down, and there's a little tab that's welded onto this bracket on this side. There's a little tab right here with a hole in it. So this bracket for the reservoir has a bolt welded to it. That bolt goes through the hole on the bracket on the passenger foot peg, and then has this nut here. And then this is all, it's got a rubber washer in it so it can move around with vibrations. Um, that's one of the issues um, with replacing these with the FJ brackets is because it does not have this tab with the hole on it. And there are a couple different ways you can fix that. You can make a bracket, you can do whatever, and I haven't really decided what I'm going to do to fix that, but the FJ brackets will sit about an inch lower, maybe a little more, and they sit further out. Um, so there's no clearance issues or anything with it, but, uh, but yeah, um, I think I'll end up doing that. Um, and then, other than that, there's there's really not much else to it that I want to do. Um, I really like the bike the way it is. Rides fantastic. Um, it's uh, it's extremely fun to drive. Um, it's got an incredible incredible amount of power to it. Uh, it's super nimble. Um, it's got a really good seating position on it. Um, I'm five ten and a half on a good day, wearing the right shoes, and my uh the balls of my feet touch pretty well on the ground um i can't really stand flat-footed um if that's a bit of a reach and then uh the seat being as wide as, as it is in the front right here puts a lot of pressure on your inner thighs it's not so much that it um it, it doesn't hurt by any means but you can definitely feel it and i'll give you a crotch shot here but um you can feel it, it makes your legs spread out quite a bit. I mean, this is hugging the tank and there's quite a bit of a gap here. Um, standing the bike straight up, my feet, my heels are off the ground. But if you lean it, you know, if you're at a stoplight or whatever and you put one foot down and one foot up on the pegs, it's, it's super comfortable. Um, same with the other side. Um, yeah, uh, so, I guess if that does become an issue, you make lowering links for the rear and you can just <clears throat> bolt your triple tree up here and drop it. There's uh, plenty of room to uh, to go down. There's, I don't know, let's see, there's another inch or so, right, well, right here. Drop that a little bit. Uh, so not really an issue if you want to lower it. That would take away from your ground clearance and your exhaust hitting the ground. But, uh, you know, if that's an issue for you, then you do what you have to do to accommodate yourself on the bike. Um, I've put, I think, a little over 200 miles on it so far, so I'm still well into the braking period, 224 miles on it. Um, and 600 for the braking period, change the oil, and then braking period is supposed to be over at 1,000. Um, I don't know how long I'll last within that braking period, but we'll see. Um, yeah, pretty happy with it. Um, the dealer that I bought it through did not have inventory with the XSR 900. They hadn't even had one yet. Um, so they had to 
buy it from a different dealer, ship it up to them, and then sell it to me. So um, I really like the guys at my dealer, so I wanted to support them, so I wanted to give them the opportunity to do that um, versus just going down to that other dealer and buying it. Um, so that gives them money in their pockets as well. Uh, but yeah, um, any questions or anything, just let me know. Uh, be more than happy to reply or share some other feedback. Uh, but as far as today, I think that's about as good as I can get uh, with a little review. So hope you enjoyed.